Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Land Plays Monster Train. Could this be the one? Could this be the one? I don't know. Okay, stop asking. We're gonna try an Awoken random run. We're trying to mix up the champions. We just went Umbra, then we went Melting. Now we're going Awoken. It's Awoken Melting. I don't know what to think about this one. We're gonna figure it out. We can make Burnout units live a little longer. Two stings is pretty nice. We, we actually have a sting synergy already, which is a little surprising. Dude, X, ca X cards get plus three attached to their value. Does nothing for us right now, but is so unbelievably insanely good. I'm gonna go spikes. Spike here and logic is getting all twisted up like an Auntie Anne's pretzel, okay? We don't need to take 50% chance for units to swap when they enter the train if every unit that hits us is also getting uh, hit by spikes because the backline units are going to blow themselves out on the spikes. So what do we need right now? X cards, X cost cards get absurd value. Um, it does seem a little quiet here, but that's okay. X cost cards get absurd value. Compared to the norm. I think we should actually set up... Like, one and one, just so we're ready for, uh... For the collectors. Um, but yeah, I, I, I think that we should, uh... Really, really focus on getting those X value cards without a doubt, if possible. Uh, and if not possible, you know, so be it. Uh, but... Those will give us a, an absolute staggering amount of value early on. You are taking a lot of damage, huh? Let's put a train steward up in front. You're not a train steward. Only you're hitting the spike. So actually, I do like the drag back here. I like you getting hit as well. What are you? Oh, because you start with plus four because of the trial. That's right. Okay. So the train steward is not getting you yet, but we don't care too much. We can change that in a big way. You guys are doing acceptably. There you go. That's that's fine. Could ice you. I'm not gonna ice you. You getting to the pyre once doesn't bother me. This guy getting to the pyre bothers me a little bit. Six nine. We want you to take a hit. We want you to die. No, we don't. <laughs> I didn't think you would die. I thought you would. I honestly thought you would live through that. But um. That's really what you get when you don't do the math. So, uh, let's get this going, and then you're living longer now. You guys up here, this is an interesting moment for us. If we could kill you, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if these guys get by, is what I mean to say. But we could ice you all and save our pyre from some heat with three stings here. So we know we're doing that. 71. So it's gonna be like a hit, hit, die. You're almost dead. But then you get hit again and you die. Well, no matter what, this is the way we want to play this. This takes you up to 95. If we can't kill you, I think it's much better for us. Oh, we're still not getting you, unfortunately. But I think it's much better for us to handle it that way. We don't have a whole lot of... Defense. <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute. Do we do we still have some train stewards in this deck somewhere? We don't. All right. Well, that's unfortunate, but we will still live. I don't know how much we could have done about that, but that's all right. We get a unit draft here. Remember, X cards are amazing. Um, as are. Well, I don't know. I don't know what else. More health is always good. Glimmer is al always relatively solid. Scales super well with an upgrade. I think it's it's great to take one of those early. Entombed Explosive. Not really a great fit for our champion floor right now. Nor is Stealth for that matter. But I don't really want Hallowed Drippings either. I hate to say it, brother. I feel like maybe we take one of the Entombed Explosive. But it's not what we want moving onwards. So I have been told. I've been told. That uh, Big Sludge, I disrespect him. Many times this has come up now. Somebody's in the comments, day 30 of trying to get NL to take Big Sludge. Guess what? You just got your wish. They've buffed the sweeping unit. Used to be a 330, right? 530? 
works really well as a backup uh, to our champion. And Sludge, we're already just putting him on a drag-driven floor. So, so sure, let, let's give it a shot. Uh, and in terms of upgrades, I gotta be honest. I mean, sweep multi-strike is pretty good, but you becoming a rage-driven unit, you got my attention now. You got my attention now. We can add one burnout to somebody. I mean, do we really want to create a slightly better drag? No. <laughs> I think the answer is, like, hugely no. Um, and I'd rather the Entombed Explosive get killed, honestly. So, Big Sludge already has a decent amount of HP. I don't think we need to invest in him right away. We may want to do so eventually, but I feel like we don't use Big Sludge as a tank. Big Sludge plays in the back line, roughly, and then the dregs up in front take hits, and then Big Sludge finishes the job. I think we can totally turn on the spikes here and not be too perturbed. We gotta be careful our pyre is in a horrible spot, but I, st I stand by this. I think it's worth a glimmer, please. No glimmer, um, but that's okay. Five, 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 one. 16 damage. However, is still pretty nice. And to be honest, I still think you put a sweeper down here and big sludge floor. We'll probably do up here just to be safe. That's also nice. So Glimmer is huge here. And then big sludge comes up and my man's gonna be, he's gonna be pogging out of his gourd. So on harvest, he gets rage five. Five rage is, is a lot. That's not an insignificant amount of rage. Especially if we can keep it going. So you're only taking 50 here. It's on the low side, but that's okay. We're not really doing too much here, but 60 damage. It's probably the thorns that are, that are setting us back, but you're gonna die, so we actually can fight you up here, but I'd rather that the dreg comes up here to give you even more rage. I mean, I don't see you getting past Big Sludge. The man is a is a monster. That's helpful. That's really I I have entombed explosive in the deck, pretty much just as a uh, as a spell. It takes a hit. I forgot you're a sweeper, dude. That's where we're running into trouble here. By the way, you're dead. Big Sludge doesn't frick around. What do we want to see? X spells, please. Those are mostly from rare packs, I think, but still. I totally don't mind a, a second glimmer. Um, trigger a unit's extinguishability without killing it. It's interesting on Entombed Explosive. So you're like, now you're like, what if I gave you a lot of HP? Then you could tank some hits, and then this would allow you to do 50 damage. But it seems like it's a very difficult synergy to kind of create. You know what I mean? I do like the idea of Formless Child. I just don't think we got the energy base for it yet. Plus, everything that we bring back is gonna... In all likelihood, is gonna come back with Burnout on it anyway, because only our Burnout units are likely to die, so... I mean, if you're gonna do that, I'm kinda like, just take a draft. It at least allows you to power Big Sludge up a little faster. We got no Pyre health coming our way. <laughs> I think this is important. If we can root enemies below the pyre, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that that may keep us in business for a bit here. Straight up, um, gift of gratitude is 120 gold for free. So this is a great time to get an X card. And hey, as soon as we play it, out of our deck. The hard part is going to be surviving here. We don't really have big heals. We need a restoration detonation to keep our champ alive. Or many wildwood saps, or as many as possible, I should say. Alright, so we drew big sludge, which is always dangerous. Uh, early on. You're doing okay. You're taking seven damage. Nobody cares. We're going to sludge you up. We have to. I think it's the right floor for it. And then we could play Thorned Hollow, but I think it's more important. As is right now, I think we can wait for Thorned Hollow to come back around. We don't have the heal base to really use it anyway. So we'll do this, this will get you powered up. 
terms of this, you're doing great stuff. You're dead. You're taking seven damage. I prefer if you didn't, but it is what it is. Um, I'd really rather put Dregs up here, so... I, I'm gonna summon a Train Steward. Mostly it was a play to get it out of my deck, honestly. So you're pogging, right? Oh, you're pogging. Hi! <laughs> okay, so explain to me what happened. Uh, okay. I thought I could play it for zero when I had three energy, which is just dumb. So that one is like a thousand percent on me. I'll, I'll own that. I'll own that. That's my fault. Honestly, this makes us live even with your encant, but we for sure want to... Yeah. Now, Big Sludge is still gonna get hit like a truck here, but that's okay. We do need to keep him alive. But we also need to keep our uh, our champion alive. But straight up, I'll level with you. I think Big Sludge is more important than our champion right now. I don't think we can keep our champion alive anymore. Even with a drag in front, still getting killed. Still getting killed. So what you... I don't really care if you kill the train steward. I prefer not to encant on that floor if we can avoid it, though. So we love this. Okay. Uh, now I don't mind encanting. Because you're going to get... The, the, oh my god, 64 by 2? Really? That's amazing. Weirdly enough, I think you can play it like that one of these. I think that Big Sludge is enough with some heals attached to him, but this this genuinely might be a little close for comfort. I actually think now's a... Oh, we can't fit it. Of course. So I'm just thinking, okay? Don't rush me. You're doing great. I can't put anything in front of you to get more rage. But you do do just a stupid amount of damage, which is super nice. I would really like you to get to full HP. I can't put a tank in front of you. I know we could get our spike tank out there. But I genuinely am like... If we live for three turns, we're almost getting you, just by virtue of that. And even this, I was gonna say, might do it. Okay, so that was super close. It's a tough one for me, because we, we would benefit from more energy for Big Sludge. We'd also benefit from more capacity for Big Sludge. Uh, uh, this is, as far as I'm concerned, has to be done. Because quickness on Big Sludge is gonna kill everything. Lady of the House is fine. It's just like, what do we do with it? I guess you could tank for Big Sludge if we had more capacity. I don't know. I'm also like... This could be the sort of run where draw is okay. I think because we have an expensive unit, I'm going to take energy first. But it does change the way I want to set this up. And I think we, we need Pyre Health, unfortunately. I think it just has to happen. Okay, so let's... Permafrost. We do want that on Wildwood Tome, but I don't think we care too much. Now, to make our, like, Glimmers maybe a little cheaper, plus 20 magic power consume. Works really well on a restore. We are suffering from a lack of heals. We got so much money out of using our Purge. I'm, I'm stunned we're still alive, quite frankly. <laughs> But I'm very happy with it as well. So Sting is like 5 damage for free. Admittedly, a Glimmer that also got strong. Ah, but that doesn't really work that way. So yeah, I, I think we can put it on a Sting. I wish we had plus 10 magic power. But it is what it is. I also wish we had remove consume. And then we could put that on our quickness. But maybe it's okay. 
We, we actually like putting both of these on our restores. Now, let me look at this for a second, okay? Let me, let me get a look at this. Dark Forge, upgrade your champion. I think we... I still think we like 20 spikes. If we could find a way to keep our champ alive, this would be... This would be Pog City. Uh, both of... Uh, I was gonna say both of our train stewards have to go, but we actually have four of them. Is it worth the spend this early? I think removing two is about where I'm gonna stop there, and we'll save some money for our next shop. Non-boss enemy units get multi-strike. You're gonna have haste as well. Quite a lot of damage. I hate to say it, but we struggle to keep our units alive right now. But I think this might represent the writing of the ship. I hope it represents the writing of the ship. So this is like, you're not all dead, but the, the most important units are dead. We definitely want Big Sludge to come out here and do something. We need to keep him going. Like, we need some dregs in there to, to keep him going. So I think maybe... I mean, I guess you don't play Paraffin Thug at any... You play Paraffin Thug back here, but then you don't have space for your Sweeper. And is this guy even getting any kills? Probably not, so I think we stall. I hate to say it, I think we stall on that one. Alright, well, the Collector right now is getting away. Well, I hate this... No, we can't put you up here just to get the money. That's... That that flies in the face of our of our game plan. Stick with what you got going on here. We might as well. They're gonna die to getting hit at some point. It's sooner rather than later. On top of that, um, so you, I don't mind if you make it to our boss. You're not doing anything. This is holdover, which we love to see. Um, 49 damage, huh? Probably doing as much damage to you as possible is advantageous for us. And then, if you could blow up in that guy's face, that would be very helpful. All of our damage pretty much hinges on, uh, Big Sludge getting raged, which he is not, we're not doing a great job of right now. So, we want Big Sludge for certain. He needs the quickness. And I'm going to level with you. I think I was wrong. I think energy is our most important trait right now. Uh, not energy, sorry. I think our energy is fine. I said the exact opposite of what I meant. <laughs> okay, so that gets us some rage. A double trigger, actually. This, I mean, we're not stopping you. The glimmer, at least, gives you some spikes. Maybe in the future that slows enemies down buy enough for us to be excited perhaps maybe a little actually that's pretty good you're getting a, a dare i say a little poggy just a, not not much but a little and you got to go through two floors of that i just only now recalled that um all right so we got 20 damage coming out to you you're gonna be tough to deal with The more spikes you get, the merrier, for sure. Um, I don't know. Maybe don't play the dregs. Maybe play a dreg back. Ah, but that's not gonna... It's gonna hit once for nine, maybe? <laughs> this doesn't feel, right now, by my estimation, like it has the Awoken cards that it needs to pog. You're not gonna have haste. But every combat, you're gonna gain plus five. Okay. Okay, okay, I see it, I see it. You're rooted, so I'm not sweating it. Did we not play? Oh, no, we did play our holdovers thing. So we, we need to do as much damage as possible to you. Straight up. There's your play. Can't play anything else because we're low on capacity. This one has the makings of being quite frightening. This is our big floor. And look at that. Who would have thought... We do need to find a... You know what I think I realized? We need Paraffin Thug on the top floor behind the spike tank. If we're going to play it like that. Deal 10 damage to the front enemy unit equal to 10 times the amount of spikes on friendly units. Does it mean just on this floor? Because if so, that is 200 damage to the front enemy unit.
Let's let's give it a try. Remember, X cards though. X cards too. Don't really need that yet. I can't believe we haven't had any X cards really pop up except the gold. So we're we're at what, 235 on gold? I don't really want a, a, a duplicate. Works well on preserved thorns, maybe. Maybe not. Um, I mean, a second big sludge would be interesting. Maybe a second bramble lash would be killer, but I guess I'm kind of in the position right now that maybe we'd be better off. Like this? <laughs> now I'm like, we've never, essentially never used this card. And now I'm in the position where I'm like, yeah, let's draw it every turn. But I mean... Every turn, that's 200 damage? To, to the front enemy unit on the bottom floor? And it's 200 damage for now. Don't we get to 40 spikes once we get to the next threshold? I mean, that's... That's Pog City. We don't need Trample. Endless, maybe. Like, on a, on a draft. But I think, in this case... A second quick is actually maybe... Not even just so we can put it on two units, but so we can draw it, hopefully, faster. We could always put it on a Paraffin Thug. Non-boss. Enemy units. Restore all health when they move up a floor. And you are the stealth boss. Th this is a tough wave for us. But if Big Sludge gets Poggy on the top floor, I think we're okay. You're really looking for, like, a glimmer here. I'm just gonna be straight up with you. Um, so you guys are all toasted. Appreciate that. <laughs> we know that we like this as our bottom floor. Big Sludge, we're actually gonna set up on the second floor. So that's, a, that's very nice for us. Although you do have a harvest ability. You need to come out here and then probably because you're not hasted we'll just do that i don't know dude at this point i think you absolutely just every time huh every time huh would have been nice to have the heal on our on our champ that's all i'm gonna say so the sting is very important here. You're getting super strong. You're almost getting the kill. You live for one more turn, dude. I could have just stung you. That's really good. Though. I'm so glad we improved some of our heals. And then, oh, but we, we don't have the capacity to fit you anymore. <laughs> There's no place for you. We, we need capacity from our next boss or draw. But not energy. That's the important one. Not energy. So Bramble Lash, hold on. Because I'm like, it does do 200 damage. Unfortunately, the unit at the front is not the unit that I thought it would be. Um, but it still does save us 10 damage. Although it does mean our pyre takes a hit. I don't mind it. Now, why don't we just give you some spikes? And then you... Yeah, 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 yeah. So remember, it's the top floor is not where we want the bottleneck. We want the bottleneck to be on the middle floor. We're gonna play this because we want it next turn. We want Big Sludge to hit harder uh, than than anything else. Hither to this moment, we don't really care if this unit burns out. Would have been nice to get it for Big Sludge, but it's okay. Okay, how we doing here? This is this is spicy. In terms of quickness, you know, I mean, the U.S. have stealth. Who does the quickness go on? Oh, there's no question, now that I look at it. The quickness definitely goes on our sweeping unit, which has changed nothing. We know we want Bramble Lash, which has done 200 damage, which is actually incredibly good. Now, we still want you to get as much HP as possible. Now you're taking 60, which just is one more turn of the spikes getting you, I think. And then we want you to pog up. The more spikes we get on you, the better, because we can still get a good hit out of Bramble Lash, assuming you live. We don't have huge heals, except for those two consumes, which we've already used, but... Now, you're taking 220 on this floor, but check this out, and check this out, and check this out. And, uh, well, there's nothing else to check out right now, but it's still pretty good. Um... Oh, we're... Is this... It does zero damage on this floor. Just check it. So, we get you pogged. Really, no reason to play this anywhere. Um, so Bramble Lash, you have 12 spikes. 
We got you. Just due to Bramble Lash, we got you. Which is scary, because that one did not quite come together. Normally, I would take this, but I don't think we need uh, Restore Triggers too much right now. Admittedly, for our... Uh, no, thank you. Admittedly, for our um, Spike Lord would be nice, but... But what? Well, I think we just need better heals is what I was going to say. Man, a full relic is pretty sick. After we fight this boss, which way would we want to go? Probably for the free relic. <laughs> okay, in that case, we should come this way now and, and get the unit upgrades and hopefully improve our chances of doing well right now. Any X card is going to be amazing. Um, they all consume... I don't feel like this is that good right now. I don't think this combos that well for us. This one's interesting. The sap is just super nice. Like It's also 15 frostbite, but I don't know. As we are the Awoken, and I feel like the draw has been kind of a sore spot. Not as much as capacity, but it's not like we have an option there. This seems to make sense to me. I'll tell you, dude. Big sludge with quick and then this multi-strike. Works really well for the amount of rage we got. Plus 25? No. Goes on you. So we don't have to heal you as much as fast. And then... I don't know, I'm kind of of the boat that like... I mean, this is pretty good. Yeah, I mean... Look, we're in this weird boat where with Paraffin Thug. I probably should have just taken nothing instead of taking Paraffin Thug. Earlier, if I'm not going to use it at all. I don't know how we're going to kill the statue that's on the floor with our champion. But we'll, we'll find a way. We'll find a way. You have Spell Shield 5. <laughs> so Bramble Lash is not really a great call. <laughs> it is funny, though. You know what, though? Quick on a sweeping unit? That's some solid stuff. And then I'm like, we might as well... And get this out of my deck. It's not an important part of our game plan. Uh, you know what? Now that this guy's hitting us, he's going to die a lot faster. So again, Bramble Lash we got to think about, but... So I think none of you are doing any damage. We want Big Sludge. I think we still want Entombed Explosive on this floor just to build up some power on him. I think we'll... You get what? Plus 10 armor? I'm going to let Bramble Lash go. By the time it comes back around, which should be fast... Like, we're drawing okay because of... Uh, Oh, let's, this is insane. You're crushing it. Um, but we're, we're drawing pretty well, especially thanks to Awoken's Rail Spike now. So I, I think that there's a lot to like. You love to see it. Now, I just got to think. You're 17 down. I do like this. Or no, you're going to be 17 down. Okay, I like that enough, even with the Glimmer. Or even with the Encant Trigger. And then you getting some spikes is advantageous. Okay, so Big Sludge is like, he's already quite pogged. Bramble Lash is getting pretty close. You have Spell Shield, which is incredibly frustrating. You're already dying. I'm not going to say it had to be done. <laughs> What I will say instead is what's done is done. And we want you to come out here and get killed so that you get even stronger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. I mean, I don't know what else you want to be doing. It was either waste them or use them to give 40 armor to the other guy, which wasn't really high on my list of priorities. Uh, quite frankly, I like this, I think. And then Sting, with the cut off his new album, take it away. Check it out. Because I think this is going to get us to kill both because you're going to give so much rage. And then you're going to lose 16. I, let's give you some spikes. And you don't have an encant trigger. You have a harvest trigger. So this is going to be interesting. All right. So we got Bramble Lash back. And it costs zero. 
which is hilarious, by the way. Quickness, this time is going to go on Big Sludge. The spells, they do matter. The order we use them in matters here. I don't really know where to put you. I can put you here for now. Paravin Thug, one of these days I'm going to I'm gonna find a place for you. <laughs> I'm not going to cast the other drag because I would like to keep some in our deck to keep buffing Big Sludge. But he's kind of like, he's already going. So we actually have a Wombo combo I hadn't previously considered. Now we get Bramble Lash for free every single turn. Pretty nice. Gives us a lot of room to build up spikes and HP on that guy. Not that he needs it right now, because, you know... Big Sludge just by himself is going to be very solid. And again, we, we couldn't care less about your... Uh, about your spell shield. We just have to do something with these cards. So this is pretty good. Bramble Lash. 200 damage coming right up. Sting. Yeah. Yeah. You're not taking too much on this floor. I think we got to get you to do some damage faster up here if possible. And then really... So like the second floor is super important here. Um, but the top floor is also where we're going to get some extra damage done with Bramble Lash. We are, we're doing 612 on this floor, which is already pretty good. <laughs> but we're not going to keep you alive, I think. Well, no, I, I don't think we have quite enough, unfortunately. So you're already dead. We might as well Bramble Lash you. We're, we're Bramble Lashing for 380 damage, so we are in the clear. So for sure, draw seems fine right now. Um, capacity is our big problem. So, you know, there's a chance. Now, second Awoken's Rail Spike. Oh, baby. That is mighty interesting. But I feel like this works a lot better for what we're trying to build. We're trying to build tanks that live forever and also have a lot of spikes so that Bramble Lash gets disgusting. I feel good about where we're at here. Units cost minus two. Why not? This doesn't really benefit us. Units costing minus two benefits us a lot. Duplicate the Awoken's Rail... Whoa. <laughs> you gotta duplicate the Bramble Lash. Not gonna be great until the boss. But we can play one and not play the other. And in situations where we can play both, even better. But, oh my. It's starting to hit me. It's starting to hit, hit me that we might have a chance. We will absolutely not turn this on. We need to make it through this first. And then things are still gonna be interesting, but... But you're saying there's a chance. I will tell you that as of right now, I feel like our pyre does not need to exist. What am I talking about? <laughs> For someone that's talking a lot of nonsense, we're making good progress. What I mean... No, we need... What I was going to say is all three floors don't need to exist, but I actually think they do. But here's what I will say. I do want you to just, just kill the paraffin thug. That doesn't bother me. And we'll get a drag set up on what I hope is Big Sludge's floor. I, what I, was, I was trying to come to terms with the fact that I'm forced to be Ember Drained, but I think I'm very much okay with it. So we, we love this Bramble Lash. That's going to really speed things up for us. You get rooted, honestly. So I'm like, you know what? I mean, we could set up... We could set up Big Sludge on the top floor and set up our, our Spike Lord on that floor instead. I don't think it makes a big difference either way. We just don't want to put too many units on the floor just to get killed before Big Sludge even comes out. So again, like this is... That's incredible. So Big Sludge, you do fit up here. You do fit up here. It's hard for me to argue against that right now. And then you would go here. We'd hit you. And once we get, like, one sting, it starts to pop off. So we want to build spikes on the second floor because the Bramble Lash will be awesome up there as well. But, like, okay, just get started here. Things are, things are going to get interesting. We love that. Um, and we know we're going to play this. Which means we can't play Spreading Spores, but it's still... This is the way to do it, in my opinion. And then... No reason not to do that. Our draw next turn is going to be nutty. Get that out of my hand. Let's see what we get. It's a terrible draw. But even with terrible draw, we're still doing really well. 
And that, even though they, they died, it actually is making Big Sludge so much stronger that it's, like, comical. I, I had a feeling we were about to draw quickness at some point, so check this out. We're unlikely to take too much damage with that guy anytime soon. And then, uh, here's two Bramble Lashes. We were Ember Drained more than I thought we were. That's what got me there. That's okay. Get ready to burn out. You're doing fine. Everything's still fine here. We're still Ember Drained for two. How many spikes do you... It does 120 damage. This is comical. Should have done it in this order, but that, this is comical. You get that. Um, we want you to burn out. We'll hit you nicely. Uh, Could have healed our Spike Lord again, but... It's not that bad. So how are you doing on this floor? You're taking 185? Eh, let's add 400 on top of that, if you don't mind. You're already toasted. You get more spikes. Because the Bramble Lash is, is critical, admittedly. You're taking 84 here? Ooh, <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> I think you will be taking more than 84. My god. Big Sludge didn't even have to do anything. I don't believe it. Something's feeling mighty poggy. It's feeling mighty poggy. I'm going to level with you. I think we could definitely use a big heal. This is, is tempting to me just because of the fact that it makes uh, Big Sludge that much better. So it's very rare for me to add a unit here, but I think that this is worth it. I mean, once those units die, it's 15 rage. Pyre health and removal, or do you want to upgrade a unit? <clears throat> I think we take this path. I don't have that much I want to remove. Um, we could have made Bram... not Bramble Ash, we could have made Regen Spores... Spreading Spores a little cheaper. This was actually, believe it or not, exactly what I was fishing for. Because I feel like, um... Remnant Host Endless is insanely good synergy with, uh, Big Sludge. And then if we could also just have it die immediately after coming out... <laughs> that's... that's amazing. Um, everything else... Unessential. So we'll maybe get another upgrade, but first I want to check out the Trinket Merchant. Spikes deal plus one damage per stack. I mean, it's not really the way we kill units. That being said. It says spikes, so I'm going for it. Enjoy. No. Enjoy. <laughs> Alright, I'm not I'm not cocky about this one. I don't think we're guaranteed to have this completely set up. But I do think we're in a pretty nice spot. And I'll level with you. I actually think you go for yet another Bramble Lash. You, with Holdover, you can choose how many you want to play or not to play. And Lord help you if we get one or two of them with the Awoken's Rail Spike. Just using my noggin here, okay? We love it. First spell gets consumed. Very important that we paid attention to that. This getting consumed, irrelevant. This getting consumed, catastrophic. <laughs> okay, Hus Kermit, this is where you belong. Just be honest. Doesn't seem like there's a good reason to take damage here. This is going to be... Well, this should be bad. I think we'll, we'll make Big Sludge on the top. Yeah, we might as well. Okay, now we look at it. You dying doesn't matter. So first spell gets consumed. The first spell you play gets consumed. Every time we're going to repeat it, the first spell you play gets consumed. So we're going to play a Glimmer down here. See a Glimmer. Wouldn't want to be you because you just got consumed. Big Sludge, welcome to the show. Remnant Host, welcome to the show as well. And, uh, Dreg, guess what? I'm welcoming you to the show. Bramble Lash, welcome. Uh, Paraffin Thug, guess what? You can now actually be played on the final battle. The show welcomes you. The first spell you play gets consumed. Not a big problem, because this gets consumed regardless. Guess what? Big Sludge, now an unstoppable creature. Thorned Hollow's coming out there. Remnant Host, we got, we got no place for you. 
You you can pog up here for a second. Hold on. Hold on. I mean, we're, I'd still like to bramble lash. I, I don't want to summon two draft units down here. That might screw this whole thing up for me. Here, get some spikes on you. Ah, why not? Still pretty good. The first spell you play gets consumed. The spell you play immediately gets consumed, which is okay. Nobody likes this one regardless. Now, yeah, 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 you burn out one, this guy's getting... I mean, do I even have to say it? My man is pogged. I hate that I have to play this... How much does it do up here? 40? And down here it does 400 to a unit that has 3 HP. I mean, you're gonna crush this unit regardless, so... Let's play it down here. I just wish that I could play the Awoken's Rail Spike first, but... It's okay. So we got two Bramble Lashes with this. Um, I would never be so cocky as to just call the win. But this looks really, really, really good. I'm actually going to save Hallowed Drippings so I can draw it later as like a sacrificial spell. Everything looks gorgeous on this one. The first spell you play, by the way, gets consumed. Which is something a lot of people forget about now and then. Um... So we will get this Glimmer out of here. And sometimes that might mean we choose to play a Bramble Lash. Sometimes it might mean we choose to let a Bramble Lash go. Um, you might as well be killed. And then I'm like, ah, you know what, the Remnant Host? I guess I do like it dying so that it can come back and be played up here again to be used for Endless Rage regen. Seems sensible. So the first spell you play is going to be Consumed. It's, it's a bad combination with Holdover. That much is, is for certain. Um, I think we play... I do think we play one, believe it or not. Because it'll allow us to kill these two units. I think we play our one that costs one. In the future, we would very much like to just see uh, stings. But losing one Bramble Lash, I don't think is that critical. We will play a, a good restore. And then we can afford the Bramble Lash. And we're, this is the most we've maintained being in front of units in this game, in, in front of the boss in this game, for our entire lives. <laughs> I still don't know if we got it, but like it's... That was the fastest we've ever done this part. Remember, it gets consumed. Are we okay with one of these being consumed? We might be just by virtue of the fact that we have no other spells. I kind of hate it, but are we going to get to draw them again fast enough? Well, how much will it change things? This is a good time to do the numbers. So you're going to get a kill. You're going to get a kill. You can kill, you're going to for 40. The thing is, does killing you matter that much? <sighs> yeah, the thing is, we because you don't have much HP... I think we just accept that one of these being gone is sensible. The other one is just, you just get it out there. Um, because this unit with the, other, the with the spikes up here is not going to live long enough for us to get like... We're not Bramble Lashing every turn anymore. This is the last gasp for Bramble Lash. Which actually means we might as well just yeet this in, instead, of our, instead of anything else. Um, and it's only doing 120 damage. So this is where things are getting... <laughs> mighty scary! Mighty scary! Because, uh, at the end of the day, Big Sludge does only have 30 HP. And we drew no units. Really? Like, he has 77 Rage. We, we really just need you to, like, live for a couple turns. And you're not even gonna do that. He already has Quick. He just dies in... he dies in one. It wasn't the Bramble Lashes that stopped us there. It was not drawing any dregs or drafts that could have saved us another turn. I'm stunned that we died. I, I actually thought we were about to win easily. I definitely screwed it up somewhere. This is the most damage we've ever dealt. But at least we learned that we love... Bramble Lash. <laughs> for now, thanks for watching. I'll go cry and I'll see you next time. See ya.